Hey everyone, Ben here from Fraser Valley Imports. Today we're looking at a 2003 Subaru Legacy sedan wagon in white. This is the Spec B edition. I'm not sure the exact differences of the Spec B edition. But um, I like the styling on these. They look nice. The headlights, angler front headlights look really good. This particular one has got uh, factory 18 inch Subaru rims. It's got brand new tires on it. And yeah, it's a really clean looking car. These little spats here at the back. And the factory uh, dual exhaust. This is my current daily driver, so it's uh, pretty messy inside. This one actually had rod knock. These come with the factory uh, EJ20X motor, which is a version of the, the Subaru Boxster series. And this is the newest version of the single turbo. Uh, the older legacy sedans and wagons had the twin turbo, but this one has a single turbo and all the mounting and everything is plastic. So I actually swapped this motor myself recently and it's been driving great ever since. <coughs> Let's have a quick look inside and then we'll take it for a spin. Inside is messy. Um, but nice and modern looking. Uh, nice display there. We've got car seats in the back for the kids. And yeah, overall, it's nice clean interior. Nice good uh, daily driver car. All right, let's take it for a spin. Wagon. This is the. Uh, the five-speed automatic transmission on these, it has the plus and minus for sport mode on the steering column. If you switch it over into sport mode, we can go up or down, which is pretty cool. When you're in regular mode, it has an eco button, which I don't know what it really does. Um, it just shows up at a little eco light on the dash when you're driving at you know, low RPMs would be good uh, fuel consumption. Also, this has the fancy uh, display screen here, which has your fuel consumption on it, 9.2 kilometers per liter. It also has things like maps, which don't work. It has a couple games on there. It has the game Othello, which if you haven't played Othello before, it's a very exciting flip the tile game black or white tiles and you can play it on here while you drive. The computer is actually pretty predictable. I now got it down, I can beat it every time. This one's got 152,000 kilometers on it, but as I mentioned in the walk around outside, I did a motor swap on this. The new motor is around 80,000. I swapped the motor, turbo, all that kind of stuff. And it's been running great ever since. The nice thing about these, uh, this motor actually is that it it's the power is smooth it's a smooth delivery so when you're accelerating there's no it doesn't feel like there's any lag it just kind of just just goes I don't have a boost gauge in here so I'm not exactly sure what the boost is running but uh, it's a very smooth driving car the steering is tight but not too tight suspension is good it's you can really feel the ground and it kind of feels sporty but not too bad The interior, as you can see, is uh, semi-comfortable for a tall individual like myself. So you can see my legs are kind of squished up here. The seat is back as far as I can go. I don't have too much gangster lean going on. My head, though, is not touching the ceiling, which is fine. And uh, my knee isn't jammed up in here, so 
if you're tall, this is a semi-comfortable vehicle. I, I've got no problem driving it. I'm daily driving it right now, and it's a fun little car. We'll take it for So here, we're picking up now. 60 kilometers an hour, 70, nice and smooth. Yeah. These wagons have lots of storage space. The trunk or wagon area in the back, it has a pull-out uh, cover and it's got all the clips for your car seats. So it's got the built-in clips in the seats for attaching car seats. If you're gonna put kids in the back, like I got my two kids in the back of this most of the time. And uh, yeah, I don't know, not much to say. It's another Subaru. I know I, my last video was a Subaru and you guys are like, hey, put some other cars up, not just Subarus. Well, I got some cars lined up, so we're gonna have some videos coming out. I'm trying to pump out videos here for you guys. I don't know, once a week, if I can, if I can manage at least once a week, I'll put out a new video. I might have some downtime occasionally, but for January, I mean, with my schedule right now, I know there's gonna be a lot of videos coming out. There's like a lot of cars coming through that I'm gonna try and make videos up for you guys. So yeah, happy new year. 2019 is gonna be a good year. And uh, that's it.